Welcome to the introductory movie for Virtual Dissection, dissection 4, The Neck. I'm going to start with the very most inferior image from the Virtual Dissection Axial file. This right here is the very top of the aortic arch. For the sake of completeness, this right here is the left brachiocephalic vein crossing the midline to merge with the right brachiocephalic vein and give you the superior vena cava. This right here is the sternum, so you know this is anterior and you know this is posterior because this is the spine. There are three vessels that arise from the aorta, from the aortic arch rather. Those are the right brachiocephalic artery right here, the left common carotid artery right here, and the left subclavian artery right here. We're going to watch the right brachiocephalic artery divide as we go superiorly into the right common carotid artery right here and the right subclavian artery. So you can see that at this level where we have the trachea and the esophagus that the these major arteries look pretty symmetric. Now I'm going to show you a trick to finding the vertebral artery and the internal thoracic artery or I'm going to call it the internal mammary artery. We're going to start with the internal mammary artery and we're going to return to our most inferior image right here. This is the sternum right here, and you can see that there are two oval vessels on either side of the sternum. The bigger vessel is going to be the internal thoracic vein. Remember, veins in general are going to be bigger than arteries. This right here is going to be the internal thoracic or the internal mammary artery. And you can actually follow this, and we're going to go ahead and follow this. If it doesn't work here, you can follow it in the lab pretty easily. There's that internal thoracic artery right here. Here it is still, and you can see it going into the right subclavian artery. The other vessel that I want to talk about very briefly is the vertebral artery, and obviously the vertebral artery is going to uh, run alongside or be associated with the, with the vertebrae. We know that this is a vertebra right here, okay, and we know that the vertebrae in the uh, in the spine, in the cervical spine anyway, have transverse foramina. And inside that, those transverse foramina, that's where the vertebral artery runs. So this right here has to be, and this on the other side, these have to be vertebral arteries. And we can follow those up and down, and if we follow them down, they should go into, this is still it right here. Oops jump too far, but you can see it going into the subclavian artery. So those are some tricks in terms of being able to find the various vascular structures that you'll be responsible for, uh, for looking for. Thank you.